Hello, welcome to the West Ham Way YouTube. Myself, Mark Carlo, and Mr. Riley Finch. Riley, start of the season, mate. Fantasy mm -hmm. football time. I mean, it's, it's the moment we all look, you know, sod the actual football. Fantasy football is where it's at, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's where it's at for about three weeks and then you get a bit mm. bored and then you don't look at it for the rest of the season. But right now, we're gunning for it. We're ready. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. It's exciting. It is. I, I, I always get a little bit excited for fantasy football time because I always build my team and then I think, well, mm. that's it. This is definitely going to be it. 100%. But this year, I'm, I've actually, it's going to sound a bit sad, I've actually been looking up tips and I think looking at the athletic and, and getting advice and trying to understand because this year I'm taking it seriously, mate. This year I'm winning it. Even though I can't take any of the prizes, obviously. Um, just more for bragging rights mm. over you more than anyone over me yeah I mainly gonna, i was gonna say is there a little bit of a grudge match that's gonna be going on here you know like uh i mean i, I like to think of myself as a, a well-rounded football expert um mm. so you know i'd be interested to see which team uh manages to get through it um who have you sort of gone for what's like your main main players you know have you, have you gone for right. salah this season salah's in salah's, salah's in. in i mean in. i i think sometimes you've got to go with you got, i mean go with the trusted players. That's my general yeah. thing, especially early on in the season. This is my kind of tip for, for viewers is go for a decent, you know, players that always score regular points, you know, generally consistently good. I think that's kind of how to start it off. There's no, I don't want to take, want to take too many gambles. Um, yeah. Although I have put in Haaland um, in my team. Bold. And you might, yeah, it's a bit bold. I mean, because he hasn't he, started. You know, he played mil this season. Hey, is he 12 mil this season? Uh, yeah, he was very expensive. Yeah, top top range. Yeah, I, I did put him in. I, I thought, mm. why not? But then I watched him in the Community Shield, and he missed that absolute sitter. Did you see that? He did. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. So it's always like, yeah, I, I'm going to stick him in. And also, he's playing West Ham in the first game. So inevitably, he's going to score. So um, yeah, I'm going to go with that for now. But what about you? What's your kind of general feel for your team? I take it you've done your team, have you? Or are you yeah, mate. Really my team's been done for a while. Team. I um, I tend to go heavy on the midfield. Right. Uh, I, I tend to go free at the back, do a little free. Was it three five two? I think I play. Yeah, three five two. That's what I do. Three five yeah. two. Yeah. So uh, I've got um, sort of a, a bit of a no brainer for me, but Jesus up front. But some people seem to think it's not going to be a one that's going to pay off. But I think he's going to score so many goals this season for Arsenal. I already oh, do. No. It really pains me because I think you know, I'm not a big fan of them and. Yeah, it'd be painful. But yeah, I think he's going to be very good for them. I really do. He's, he, in pre-season, he looks amazing. He's just scoring goals mm. all over the place. So, And he's one of those players, I think now, because he's going to be the main man at Arsenal, Yeah, I, I just get the impression he's going to really thrive on that and be in the main striker. So yeah, I, I think Arsenal picked up a very, very good good player there. Um, yeah, he's also in my team as well. So before we get into the teams, mate, um, mm. what we want to say, we've got the code down below to join the league. Now, if you join our league, you also got to be a subscriber to the channel. Um, so please do both. And also, Riley has introduced a bit of a, another rule, Riley, haven't you, for us, for the league? Yeah, so uh, obviously, you know, we're not just using some bog standard fantasy football league because what's the point? You know, we're all West Ham. And I, and I think, to be honest, most of us do selfishly put West Ham players in our team anyway. Mm. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. But the rule of the, of the season is you must have two West Ham players in your squad at all times. So okay. if you're ever caught, you know, lacking with uh, one West Ham player... Uh, in your well, squad, and unfortunately, you will be disqualified. Them, look at them. Yep. Yeah, listen, we're going to be harsh. You're disqualified. You're not allowed to <laughs> disqualify, and you in. could be under yeah. arrest. You've got. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I I like that rule. I think it's good for all West Ham fans. And what we'll be doing is, at the end of the season, we'll be giving away prizes. We might even do um, monthly prizes as well. It depends on sort of what we can get our hands on. At the moment, what we've got is a main prize for the end of the season. We've got a signed football um, mm -hmm. from the whole squad. We've also got um, some signed memorabilia from Dave and X. They've got their new book coming out. And we've also got um, some tickets to events and things like that to give away. But we'll give some more details out about that. But yeah, so join the, the league by the code below and also subscribe to the channel. And then, yeah, as you say, and keep two West Ham players in your squad at all times. And what then, are yeah, your two you're West Ham in. players? Hey, two. I've got Jared Bowen um, and Suchek. I've gone for. Oh, Suche. I mean, I actually think yeah. he's going to have a really good season this season. I know. So I was considering putting him in, but mm. I've also gone for Jared Bowen because no brainer for me. Yeah. I've gone for Ben Johnson, 4.5 million, and I think he'll start most games for us. So yeah. I feel like that's quite a cheap sort of player that we can put in. Yeah. Um, and th those are my two. I've seen a lot of people put Skamaka in. Does really? It have you? Yeah, I've seen a lot of people put Skamaka in, but mm -hmm. he's so much of a gamble, isn't he? You know? 
Yeah, this is what I think. I think with fantasy, he's been a bit careful with the whole game. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can kind of, if he hits the ground running, then great. I am mean, obviously great for us, and I hope he does. But I think when it comes to football fantasy, I wouldn't put too much, too much of a gamble early on. I think first of all, you just no. want to get a bit of consistency, get some points on the board, um, and then once you start seeing the players that actually they're playing very well, if Skamaka comes in, then you can introduce them at a later stage. But yeah, that that's um, that's my tip for the day, mate. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm obviously an expert, as you can tell. So, uh, do you want to reveal your uh, your expert team, mate? Yeah, you ready for this? I'm absolutely this ready. took me a lot of time. So, right, let's compare. Have you got your team in front of you? I've got my team in front of me, mate, yes. Right, so start with goalkeepers. I've gone for Edison. So, I never go expensive with the goalkeepers, to be honest, because mate, I feel like full. they only really you're get full. points for clean sheets, do they not? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Points for clean sheets, yeah. So, uh, I've gone for Sanchez at Brighton. He's cheap, oh, okay. you know. I just thought, why not? I'd, I'd rather spend in other areas, you know, being conservative. Fair enough, fair enough. I, 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 you know, I think that's a foolish move. I think he's showing your amateur ways, but that's fair fine. Enough. I mean, you, you're, you're entitled to do what you want. Obviously, don't I'm follow naive, mate. That's what it is. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Um, yeah, so Edison, and you've gone for the Brighton keeper. She said, yeah, fair enough, Sanchez. That's not, not, not bad. I can understand it-ish. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I've gone three at the back, like yourself. Um, first of all, for me, Alexander-Arnold, Liverpool. Yeah, he had to be in there for me as well. You know, he, he like you say, you got to go with people you know are going to score points, tried and trusted. Yeah, he's he's going to get goals, he's going to get assists. Liverpool are going to get mm. clean sheets. He had to be in there. He scored on the um, in chat community shield as well. Lovely goal as he well. Did, yeah. I just think he's one of those players. He just yeah, you're right. He he, create, he creates a lot, a lot of assists, and he does pick up goals. I think he's just one of those players for me. He's a bit of a no brain if he's fit. Keep him in because he's he does consistently get points. He's expensive uh, for a reason. You know what I mean. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, my other goal um, defender then was my third defender is Gabriel um, from Ooh, okay. Arsenal, which I think he's a pretty decent player. What do you What do you reckon? Is that is, is, is this a genius move or what from me? I, I tend to go with the fullbacks uh, in my in my team because I feel like oh, they right. score more points, uh, but they do get mm. more yellow cards. I feel so it's a gamble, but um, you know Gabriel he does score from uh, corners quite often as well. And he should be playing a lot of games for Arsenal. I mean, Saliba coming in, you know, potentially might get outranked. Mm. I mean, I've gone, I've gone Jed Spence as one of my options as well. Oh, yeah, okay, right. Not bad. Four point okay. four point five million. I feel like he will start for Spurs, and uh, he should get a few goals as well, a few assists in my books. Yeah, okay, no, fair enough, fair enough. I, I don't think that's too bad. I think you've done quite well there. That's, mm-hmm. There's some, there's some logic behind your madness. I quite like it. I've gone for um, Cash as my third. Um, oh, see. I had cash yeah. in as well, but um, I opted out. So one of my players in midfield, I took out Salah and I put in Son and then I put in James for cash. Oh, so, right. Yeah, Reece James. Oh, you got Reese James, have you? So I got Reese James in uh, yeah. as my third centre-back. Well, right. third defender. Yeah. Uh, but I originally did have cash and Salah uh, like you, uh, but I decided to spend that extra million on James. I just feel like he might score a couple more points than cash, but... I don't know. I mean, I'm very tempted to go back to Salah. I can't lie because, like you say, you know they're the ones that score the most goals. And and last it's season, expensive. that's the problem. You got to, if you're going to feel these players, it's, you know, I mean, you can only have a very only a couple of them really. So, but yeah, yeah. yeah no, I actually I did have Reese James in my team at one point, but because I've manoeuvred it around a couple of times, he had to go. But Cash yeah. has been my sort of player to come in for that. Moving on to midfield, then, mate. I've got five in the midfield, like you. Um, I've gone for Neves of Wolves. Yeah, I like I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. You like that one, don't you? You're impressed, aren't you? I can tell. I can tell by your... Yeah, absolutely, mate. Go on. Who you got in then? Who's your first? Uh, I guess sort of on a similar scent, I've got uh, Bruno Gimaresh from Newcastle. Okay, okay. That's fair enough. That sounds pretty clear. That doesn't sound like a bad move, actually. Quite wise. And then, uh, I've got uh, Luis Diaz as well from Liverpool. I feel mm. like he's going to get a lot of minutes. Uh, Eight million as well. I think it's fairly cheap. Uh, and then we both yeah, got Jared bad, Bowen. We were close to signing him, weren't we, West Ham? We were close to getting... Uh, we were yeah, too I mean, close to so signing him, unfortunately. Yeah. Hey? So we were too close to signing him, unfortunately, but to the point where you just, you've just got to regret it now because he looks an absolute player, doesn't he? I know. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's, he's a good one. Um, my next midfielder and my captain for the first week is Mo Salah. He's got, he, he had to, you know, he was one of them where he had to be in there. And I think Liverpool, as usual, have got a really easy start to the season. What, Fulham on the first day of the season? So... I he know. should be having an absolute field day, even even <laughs> if he doesn't score for the next couple of weeks. You know, it's get him out in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, yeah. I think Liverpool got really easy start to the season, so getting Salah in is probably a smart move. Mm. 
I think that's not bad. Uh, as we touched on already, from one of my West Ham players next, Jared Bowen. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's going to score as many points as last season, but I still mm. back him that he's going to score a lot of goals, get yeah. a lot of assists for us. And, you know, with our lack of signings, he's going to be a nailed on right wing starter. So no brainer, yeah. really, eh? It's not bad, mate. I like it, yeah. And what about you? Who, who else have you got in your midfield then? So you, you've got... Um... So I've got Son, Son yeah. Bowen, Bruno and Luis Diaz. And, and to complete it, I've got the creme de la creme, Kevin mm. De Bruyne. Uh, oh, you know, can't, can't look past KDB. That's that's good. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll hats off to that one. That's that's a decent midfield. That's not bad. Mm. Um, so, yeah, mine's going to be Neves, Salah, Bowen. And my other two are, well, we've all talked on Suchek. It's going to be my other West Ham player who's also starting. And the other one I've gone for, Ward Prowse, Southampton. Um, yeah, I, think... I mean... Gets goals, I do worry for I do worry for Southampton this season, but Ward Prowse always seems to pop up with the goals, and he played. Yeah, he, and he take penalties as well for. He does, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah he, gets, so, he gets a lot of goals for him. Well, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a good choice. You know, set piece taker. He's going to be getting assists. He's going to be getting goals. Yeah, definitely what I was looking at. They kick off with Spurs away though, um, Southampton, and I've got a horrible feeling Spurs are going to be very good this season, which is annoying. Mm. So I, I hope I hope I'm horribly wrong, but. You know, we'll see. But, yeah, so I think they're going to struggle that first game, though. It's yeah. a, tough, it's a tough, tough opener for them. Um, and then my front two, we've already touched on, mate. Haaland and Jesus are my front two. Who have you gone for? I've, I've gone for Jesus and uh, Brennan Johnson. I've had to sort of sacrifice that right striker spot. But I do mm-hmm. think Johnson will score quite a few goals this season. For mm. um, I think Forest play style will suit the Premier League. And I think they will be a high-scoring team. Yeah. Um, might potentially move him out, but I feel like I've got quality in other areas of the pitch to where Johnson yeah. up front doesn't bother me that much. Uh, in terms of the bench, are you you know, do you just gamble that your first eleven is going to score all the points and go strong? Or I do, I do tend to, yes, bench? but I, although I do, I do have to be a little bit clever with this. I do try and pick players that are going to be playing as well, more likely. I don't just pick mm. anyone, just the cheap yeah, yeah, yeah. for. So my four on the bench, I've gone for Turner, uh, the goalkeeper of Crystal Palace. And that is, that is one that I don't expect to be getting any points with, but it was just a cheap, cheap option. So yep. that kind of goes against what I've just said, but that was only because it's the goalkeeper. Um, I've gone for Tangana, so Tangana from Tottenham. But I think he's leaving. I think he's going to AC Milan. Potentially, yeah. So, so i have to rethink think- that one. Yeah, David X did an update on their transfer show, and apparently he's on his way. So that's uh, that's one that's quite interesting. That one. So I'm not quite sure whether that's going to. I might have to make a change there. Um, I've got for Mr. James Tomkins, obviously um, from West Ham defender. Um, I think he plays a fair bit for Palace, gets points here and there. So I don't think that's too bad. And then I've gone for another player that's heavily linked with West Ham is um, Brozier, Chelsea. Yeah, I mean, how much is Brozier this year? Is he? Was he like six point five? Let's have a look. Hang on, mate. Let me just go to my transfer page. 5.5. Yeah, I mean, I I think he might get some good game time, especially if uh, Werner does move to Newcastle, which I actually think would yeah. be a really good fit for them. Um, yeah. But I'm surprised you haven't got Nico Williams in your team, mate. No. Four million. He's going to be a nailed-on starter for Forrest. I feel like that would be a you know a good little sort of squad mm, rotational not, player. Not a bad shout. It's not a bad shout. You know what I mean? I'll see. I'll have a little think. And I mean, this is not my final team yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, you just... You, you know, you've got, you've got the, the board up there, you know, you've got the little yeah. map with all the lines on it. All the I've got a few more off. meetings to be had. We're going to we're gonna have a few training sessions, mm. see how they're looking, and then I'll make my final call. But I won't tell the players until the day of the game. You know what I mean? That's yeah, yeah, I like don't, to don't upset anyone, do you? No, but, uh, exactly. I've got Gazaniga, Nico Williams, yep. Taylor, who's not going to start any games. But again, I'm just, I'm sort of banking on the, my midfield to be getting all the points. And uh, mm. my last West Ham player I've already touched on, Johnson, 4.5. I feel like he's going to start quite a few games for us. Mm. Yeah, um, I don't really trust us to keep clean sheets. Though is the only thing, so I don't really know how many points he's going to get. But mate, two very very solid squads, two somewhat different squads. Um, someone, somewhat, someone's better, obviously. So I mean, yeah, we're, some we're better. Not, than others, out there, but, I know it is. Um, but, um, yeah. if, I feel like uh, you know, if you guys want to tweet us at the West Ham way your yeah. fantasy football squads, uh, then we'd love Absolutely. to take a look at them and obviously join the code below uh, to participate. We've got some exciting prizes going on. Uh, but it won't be us on the show most of the week, will it, mate? No, no, it won't be. So, Mr. Bill Don, he's been on the show before, massive West Ham fan. He's been working with the West Ham way. So, he's going to be involved in hosting a weekly show for um, and giving us updates on the best teams, how, how are people performing, the best players and things like that. And we'll obviously be appearing as guests as well here and there. So, that'd be great. And other fans as well. So, yeah, we wanted to sort of pick up really and make it a bit more of a, a weekly show where we can sort of all 
compete and see how we're getting on. I mean, we've got loads of people in the league already. But as we say, we want to introduce the new rule, two West Ham players in the squad at all times. Uh, and then what we might look to do is, or I was speaking to David X at some stage, we might be looking to do like a monthly giveaway, who's you know the best performance, who's top of the league for the month and things like that to get good prizes away. But we'll we'll see what we can do. But yeah, sign football there, mate, for a first prize, which is... Uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good, mate. I tell you, it's a decent yeah. battle. I mean, I doubt any of us are in the running for it, but, you know, <laughs> hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy, you know, bantering Mark every single week, you know, when his squad's in disarray and he's sitting there chewing his chewing his air mm. out, wondering mm. what's gone wrong. And then I'm just sitting there, you know, it'd be uh, be interesting, mate. Interesting little yeah. match. I'm excited, mate. I'm excited and I'm very confident. Hopefully it keeps <laughs> the fantasy football fresh for this season because, like you say, Normally, you get excited for the first couple of weeks and yeah. then it kind of just fizzles out, doesn't it? And then but... you forget where the app is on your phone and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah I and then it goes about to the that. Back of your notifications and all I that mean, sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah, I've still got David Batty in midfield. What happened? You know what I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks yeah. for watching, everyone. And uh, yeah, good luck and uh, yeah, join the league and follow the channel. Don't forget as well. So, cheers.